Hey Brian, I'm getting married next year and would love to do some wax seals on invites. Congratulations! Uh, can you talk about the Artelier Gargoyle wax and how it compares to the J. Herbin wax? Do you have a favorite? Um, well, I will talk about that. So, for years we've been carrying the J. Herbin supple wax. So there's a distinction here because you know both Jerbon and Atelier Gargoyle make a variety of different waxes. The traditional sealing wax, um, also what's sometimes known as King's Wax, is a brittle wax. Uh, and originally, for those of you that don't know your wax sealing history, um, this was the original like encrypted uh, you know one password or you know whatever you want to call it. Um, this is the original encryption device um, to show when a letter had been tampered with. So, you know, kings and noble people of sorts would have a ring or some kind of other, you know, device that would have their, you know, uh, crest or something, some demarcation that this was their genuine thing. They would use a brittle sealing wax. They would fold up a letter so that you could not open it or read it without breaking that seal. And the, if you broke the seal, it would crumble into a million pieces and you would know that it had been tampered with. Um, and then the information couldn't be trusted or something like that. Or whoever was delivering the letter would get, like, talking to. <laughs> maybe that's how they talked back then. But we're talking several hundred years ago here, so they weren't quite as maybe refined as, as we are today in our communication. But anyway, um, so these days, brittle wax is not super practical because if it goes through the modern mail system that involves automated sorting and uh, devices and stuff like that, um, I'm going to tell you right now, don't bother sending it. And honestly, you might even get in trouble and your mail might not get delivered because that stuff crumbles up and it just jams up their machines and they really get frustrated when you send brittle wax through the mail. Um, so, you know, modern companies have designed supple wax, which is very flexible wax. It's somewhat flexible in its stick form, but when you put it into an actual wax seal, you can like bend it and it will stick and it won't break and things like that. Um, so both of these waxes that I'm talking about here right now, these are supple waxes. That's all we carry at Goulet Pens. But you can buy brittle waxes at a lot of places um, if you want to get that more traditional kind of vibe. I would recommend for your invites using supple wax, okay? So we have J. Bond. We've been carrying it for years. We actually came out the gate. J. Bond is, is uh, uh, under the Exaclair family of brands, Clairefontaine, Rhodia, Quabatis, and uh, that was the first um, uh, distributor that we ever had at Goulet Pens. So we actually started carrying this very early on. So if you look at a lot of my older wax seal videos, uh, they go back way back to when I didn't know anything about how to shoot videos. Um, the quality is not great, but the content's really solid, so it's still good, and that's why I've kept it up there, even though it's embarrassing quality. Uh, but that's okay. Um, so it works really well, and you can get a pretty good amount of seals out of a stick like this. You know, I've gotten upwards of 30 to 40 seals out of a single stick. It all depends on the wax that you're, or the, um, the size of the seal that you're using and how much depth there is to the engraving on the seal and stuff like that. So there's a bit of an art form, a bit of a trick to it. <clears throat> Um, Atelier Gargoyle is a retailer, um, or a retailer manufacturer. So actually, when when we first started carrying Jerobon, we almost immediately started getting asked about the Atelier Gargoyle wax. Um, but they only sold it direct. And we had reached out to them and they said, yep, we only sell it direct. Um, but the quality, everybody said, the quality was really good and a lot of people compared the two. And so we you really just kind of had it out there for years of just like, well, hey, okay, you don't sell it. Uh, except for direct, if that ever changes, let us know. Well, eventually they did change it, um, and so they reached out to us and said, "Hey, look, we're getting away from the selling direct thing, and uh, we still will, but you know, we can. Uh, we're looking to go, you know, retail with this now. Would you be interested?" And we were like, "Yeah." So we started to learn about this, and so that's why a lot of my older wax seal videos only include Jerobon and not the Atelier Gargoyle, um, but it really functions very, very similarly. Um, the biggest difference that you have between the two of these, the overall diameter and everything is very similar. Um, the biggest difference though is the length, obviously. I didn't even need to say that probably, but the length. It's about twice as long. Um, however, they sell individually by the stick. The Jerobons sold in a four pack. Cost more for these, so you know, it ends up cost-wise being pretty similar for like per, per seal, if you will. You know, the amount of wax you're getting in, the, in different forms is very, very pretty, pretty comparable. Um, another very noticeable difference you'll get between the two, which you can't see, but you can smell. So they use essential oils in the 
Atelier Gargoyle. And it, uh, it lasts, it will last uh, for a while to the point where um, it'll actually last, when you, set, when you mail the letter, the recipient will still be able to smell it. They'll have to, I mean, it might not be like wafting in the whole room, but certainly if they get it near their face, they might be like, hmm, that kind of smells. Or if they know what they're looking for, they can, hmm, smells kind of nice. I gotta say, like this stuff, we have it when we walk by our, in our warehouse, you can smell it because we have all the sticks there and you can, hmm, smells pretty good. Um, they have somewhat different scents depending on which version you're getting, but um, they're all, you know, really nice, nice scented. So um, the Jerbon just smells like nothing. Doesn't smell good, bad. Nothing, just smells like nothing. Um, so that's, that's another big difference. And uh, in, in actual use, they both perform very, very comparably. The end result is, is pretty comparable. Um, I have found that particularly with some of these solid colors, not so much the metallics, but certain solid colors on the Atelier Gargoyle, um, it can take a little bit longer. Just not a lot but a little bit longer to melt. It seems like the heat points may be a little bit higher, and so um, it takes a little bit more to melt it, and partly as a result of that, um, you can get a little more soot on the, um, the lighter colors, like the ivory and the rose and stuff like that, um, especially if you're using a very low heat flame, um, like a, a, cig a cigarette lighter or something like that, or a candle, um, you can get some sooting. Um, some ways around that, you can use a higher heat source, like a, a small butane torch, like a camping lighter, uh, that's got a, like a flame proof, uh, sorry, windproof flame. Uh, or if you want to use like a small creme brulee torch, those work really well. Those things like really crank it up. Um, those work pretty well, but in general, when doing any type of wax seal, if you're using a very low heat flame, like a cigarette lighter, it's gonna take a long time and it's gonna cause more sooting. With the sooting, what I mean by that is it's got like black marks and stuff that are in it, which can be kind of a cool effect. Honestly, if you do it evenly and, and do it enough to it, it looks intentional. But if you're really trying to get a nice clean look on say your pink uh, seals, if that happens to fit in your color scheme, um, you may wanna stick uh, with a higher heat source. Um, but either way, I think if you think you would uh, enjoy the essential oil smell, if you're doing it for like all day and sealing it, you might get kind of sick of it. So you, maybe you want to go the Jeremon route. I don't know. Maybe you love essential oils and you'd really love to smell that all day long. It's really up to you. So I'll let you make that judgment call. I'm just here for giving you the information. <laughs>